How's it going everyone? I know lately a lot of people have been having a hard time finding ammunition. Um, it's either just completely out of stock and you can't get it or it's priced out of your reach, you know, or it's not worth buying, right? Um, so I'm going to show you a few low round count drills. People have been asking for me to do a few low round count drills. Um, I'm going to do a couple right here. It's just going to be rifle stuff. Most of this stuff you can do with a handgun too. So not really any different, but uh, yeah, check it out. <clears throat> All right, first basic drill I'm going to show you is just a one round reload one round. Um, you can again do this with all kinds of different firearms. Um, obviously the manual for arms is going to be a little bit different kind of depending on the gun you're using. I'm shooting my AK. Haven't shot this in about a year. Um, but uh, so I'm probably going to be rusty, but <laughs> who cares, right? <clears throat> shooting at about 25 meters. Again, you can adjust this to your skill level, um, you know, or if you're shooting pistol, you know, you can shoot it closer or whatever you got to do um, to make it a little more interesting or challenging, but not too challenging, right? Nine seconds. All right, let's run the uh, one reload one drill with an M4 AR-15 type rifle instead. Um, we'll see how the time compares to with the AK. Six point eight four. Six point five three. I'm sure some people are going to say that uh, I'm going very slow. My times aren't good. Something like that, and they're going to say, "Well, I can reload my AR in under a second or whatever." But that's because you're doing it at home, dry firing. When you get out on the range and you're shooting at something like 25 meters away at a uh, shrunken sized target, um, it's going to be a lot more difficult. You still got to create stability and get a good shot off. So don't think that your at home times where you're just super fast moving is going to reflect what's going to happen in the real world, all right? You got to get out and train actually shooting and making those rounds connect too. Otherwise, all that dry fire training is worthless. It's good to get those mechanics down, getting that mag into the mag well and stuff, but uh, you gotta get out and shoot it for real too. Another really simple drill you can do with a rifle is uh, you fire one round standing, then you drop into the kneeling, fire another round kneeling, drop into the prone, one round, and if you want to, you can add it going back up to, back up to kneeling and then back up to standing again. So that'll be a total of five rounds, or if you just go standing, kneeling, prone, it's three rounds. But either way, it's a low round count drill and works all three positions pretty well. Um, so let's give that a shot. Again, we're at about 25 meters or so. Uh, 12.22. Let's run it again and see if we can do a little better than that. Ten point six six. It's a little weird on the snow, slippery, but uh, if you don't want to fight in all conditions, that's what you got to deal with, right? Do another one. This one also works your uh, kind of like your mobility, getting up and down and stuff really well. So good for that as well. Alright, 10.04. So, between 10 and 12 seconds. 
it's a good time. And it's a good drill. Works all three positions. Doesn't use a lot of rounds. You're moving a lot though. All right, everyone. Another good uh, shooting drill to do with some movement is uh, do like a close and then run to a far distance, take another shot there. And then you could even run back to a close distance and take another shot. So it could be say with a handgun, could be five, 25 and five, or uh, I'm not gonna shoot that close on steel with a rifle because you have um, the possibility of just fragments flying off of it and hitting you. It's a little bit unsafe. So I'm gonna do like about 12, 12 to 15 meters back to about 30 and then back. And uh, it's gonna be hard because it's in the snow and I don't wanna eat shit and stuff, but uh, that's what you gotta train in sometimes. All right, let's try it. <laughs> it's hard to stop there in the snow. I knew it was going to be slippery, but still didn't give myself enough time to slow down. 14.63 on that. We're in back to about 35 meters. That was about 15, 10 to 15 where I was, probably 10, more like 10 on uh, when I came back. Anyway. With this drill too, you can add variations in. You can do it where you shoot close, run back and drop into the knee link, and take that shot at 25 or drop into the prone. Um, you know, stuff like that. You can change it up, but essentially it only ends up being two or three rounds. You can run it a bunch of times. Plus it's working on your agility and movement with your gun or with your gear, if you're wearing gear, um, whatever. You can throw a reload in while you're moving you fire one round, reload on the move, then fire one from further away. That's a great uh, variant, but um, it's just easy stuff, simple stuff. You're only shooting a couple of rounds, but uh, it's really going to work on those mechanics. It's better at uh, just kind of maneuvering, um, even if you're with yourself. If you're with friends and stuff, I would highly suggest working on kind of like communication, fire and maneuver, like bounding. Look up what bounding is if you don't know. Um, you know, just talking to each other, moving, um, three to five second rush, stuff like that. But even if your friends don't come out, you can still work a lot of different stuff. Um, you can still get the movement portions in. Again, handling your weapon, it's really important. Learn how to do that. That's more important than pretty much any other skill you're going to have besides just obviously hitting your target. But if you can hit your target, next thing you need to work on, manipulating your weapon smoothly, efficiently, quickly, whatever. Keeping it out of your way when it needs to be out of the way. Having it in the way when it needs to be in the way. Stuff like that. <clears throat> Starting to snow on me a little bit here again. Anyway, um, let, me, uh, let me run that a couple more times. Shooting in the snow is a mess. It's fun though. Woo! 
It's really pretty right now. The sun's coming through the clouds and like clouds are partially obscuring the mountains and stuff. It's awesome out here. It's another benefit of shooting outside. Besides not having to deal with crowds at indoor ranges and all the noise and other shit. We got this to look at. It's pretty great. Remember, if you like the video, others might too. Make sure you hit the like button and smash that fucking subscribe button like this.